my way. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? I'm very good. Nice. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Nice. Bino. <laughs> Bino, actually. It's what? Bino? Yes, not sir. Bino? Yeah. Ah, but no, I've been seeing you. It's a Bino. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why Bino? Well, Bino because, you know, uh, the color of my skin, I'm an albino, so... I just commercialized it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But I know in, in our parts of the world, people have their own, um, you know, perception. Yeah, definitely. And that kind of weird um, outlook. Exactly. I mean, people, the way people perceive and people, the way people see you, yeah. I mean, people of that color. Or that defect. Yeah. Once you see them, I mean, it's been there. Since, I mean, since time immemorial. Exactly. You know, once you see an albino, yeah. like yeah, ah, uh, and then the local balance. Yeah. Did you face challenges? Uh, yeah, actually, a lot. Uh, but you know, uh, with time, I got to understand that it just has to do with. You know, when you, you, you go to a, a society where you are the outstanding person, you look different from every other person, you know. It, 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 it's like um, in a family of deaf people. Okay. And then the mo uh, mother is deaf, father is deaf, they have the first child also deaf, second child deaf, and then the third child hears. Mm. You know, the acceptance is it's a difficult thing. Mm. Yeah, it's it's just the same thing with albinism as well. Mm. You hardly see people like us. I have, I have an extended family like that. You see, um, yeah, the family has to go extended before you get one. <laughs> <laughs> um, firstborn deaf, mm -hmm. second deaf, third yeah. third one is, yes. is all right. Yeah, yeah, and no one in the family had that de had that defect, yeah. and and so it was. In fact, it was quite a hard time. Exactly. For us. It's, it's Interestingly, they're brilliant. Yeah. Special kids. We are like that. Brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And I find that with you even in your songs. What what were some of the challenges you were going through? Well, um I'm very sure in school, eh? Oh, not just in school, in you know, society, you know, okay. the house I grew up in. Um so I didn't know my father growing up. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Uh, according to what my grandmom told me, she said, when I was born, the man came to the hospital and saw me and was like, Child, we don't get this thing from my father. <laughs> <laughs> so, big man, Jack. Ozzy on you. Ozzy on you. Oh, Charlie. To Johnny. I'm pure free. <laughs> but, I mean. But, but here we are. Yeah, here we are. So, you ran away? He ran away. So, um, my mom you know, out of the pain and disappointment and everything. She died Oh, when I was uh, just three months old. Jesus. So my grandmom took responsibility and then uh, she also had, you know, a man who wanted to marry her. And at the time, I was a, a, a sickling child. You know, I, I got so sick. According to my grandmom and the people who saw me grow up, mm. they say, you can see the food traveling down my stomach when I'm eating. Oh, and that's how sick I wow, was. Wow, wow, that was serious. Yeah, that's how sick I was. Many people didn't believe I'd be uh, alive up to this moment. Well, here we are again. Uh, so, you know, being different in the household where I grew up in, it was difficult at the beginning, but with time I got ac uh, accepted. And then now it has to extend to society. Mm. You know, uh, even till, okay, right now, I think since winning mentor, uh, when I go back to apply, it's hard to see kids running after me. But before then, that you would see parents seating their kids before them. I pass by the kids would get up and run after me. They be shouting. Um, I'm an away, so they shout. Yeah, we, yeah, we why? Why so. must you take the way you have to duck before saying you are never? Yes, you are never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I am an airway. Yeah, so say it. By the way, you were saying it quietly like I'm an airway. So yeah. say it. I'm airway. I'm hey. from a, I'm from a flower. Okay. You get me? So me, I, for me, I love airways. Do you know why? No. They are nice people. Okay. Beautiful people. I thought it was because of a woman. 
<laughs> obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, their ladies are beautiful. Yeah. I love their ladies anyway. And they, you know. Yeah. And yeah, then in yeah. school, in school, uh, I attended the uh, Holy Star Academy. In, uh, that's my primary and basic school in mm. Aplau. I think I didn't struggle much with acceptance there. Because I was shielded by the headmaster. Okay. Uh huh. And anybody who does something, you know, you would be You'd be punished. Punished exactly. severely. Severely. I was like his egg, you know. Back then, mm. the man. Uh, it was because of him I fell in love with music very early. Cause okay. He made me join the band, the brass okay. band. Uh, I think I was five years at the time. Mm. And then, yeah, music started from there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So wow. it, the, the the problem had to do with acceptance, you know, and then a yeah, little bit of stigmatization is what we pulled through. Yeah, obviously, they, 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 there was this video, there was this video I saw, and there was this album, you know, and he said he was in Etruski. Okay. And <laughs> this, for me, it was funny and sad at the same time, but people, I mean, the, the, the guy is, uh, he's an... How do we call them? He's a content creator. Okay. And TikTok. So I think he's on TikTok. Okay. I, I saw the video. I, one of them skits. Yeah. He said he was in Etruski and a lady was feeding her son, mm -hmm. her child. Mm -hmm. And the child refused to eat. And he said, when they are, remember Kakayachi? <laughs> and the guy sat next to them and said, Kakayachi. Exactly. They do they do the same thing to me. Oh, really? Exactly. <laughs> Before like it's it's not been too long ago. Mm. There there are times when, you know, my house it's not very close to the roadside. You have to, you know, alight by the roadside and walk, walk. some distance right. exactly. So when I'm walking home, there there are some there are some mothers, you know, around the area when their children see they refuse misbehave. to bath or they, yeah, they misbehave. They will wait for me to be passing by. And then they, when, when I'm passing by, they would like intentionally call me, bro, please, can you come and check something for me here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie. So I will walk into their house and they will say, hey, you Mark Bonner. Like, yeah, he's coming. And then you see the kid run into the bathroom. I've had similar experiences. It's, you know. Wait a, wait a minute. So what? You enter, they do that, and what? What, what do you do? You just quietly walk back? Out? I just, well, um, I'm not. I'm I'm not the you know reactive type of person, so I yeah I just overlook and walk away most of the time. Don't you feel disrespected? Of course I do. Yeah, I feel disrespected. Everybody will, you know. Yeah, everybody will. Even boxers are not. They don't. They don't. They don't like want to look scary. Mm. You know. Uh -huh. So I'm not a monster. I'm not like you. You get me. But then. Um, Something happened. Mm. One of them parents called me. She was a woman, right? And I went into the house. <laughs> and the kid saw me and walked to me. Wow. A fool, a fool, like, brother, brother. I was like, how are you? I'm fine. Please go and bath. And he was like, okay. And the mom couldn't speak to me from that day till wow. now. Wow. That would be a shameful moment for her. Yeah. The mom, till now, she couldn't speak to me. So why do you any so? She doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't when speak you, to me. Yeah. Ayeka. Uh, I, 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 I went back home and told my people, and they were like, oh, well, at least the kid gets sense by some. So. <laughs> oh, shoot. If you don't know the pen. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a stigmatization, dear Charlie. Now, with all of these things, did you ever consider dyeing your hair or no. wearing caps or disguising, wearing masks or anything of the sort? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, it's not like I thought about it. But there was a time, you know, when I was making music, uh, someone gave me the idea to dye my hair pink. Pink? Yeah, pink. Shall you looking at your color and pink hair? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so I went home and then I, I told my people, hey, 
somebody just give me the idea to oh, send me dye my hair pink. They looked at me for 15 seconds. <laughs> they didn't laugh. No reaction. They all just stood up and left. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> because Charlie. And I was like, okay, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like. So personally, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, I don't have the, the ideas to. Uh, no modifications. Just okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm proud to be like wow. this. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much for standing up for it and accepting who you are. Yeah. Now, because look, there are a lot of people who have birth defects and even have, I mean, problems, yet they won't accept it. Mm -hmm. They refuse to, to be... They refuse to be in that position. Exactly. And they don't want to accept who they are. Yeah. And I'm so proud of you mm -hmm. that no matter what... I mean, I don't know how... I, I don't know what causes albinism. Yeah. I, I don't know what causes that. But they, say, they say it's lack of melanin. I don't know. Oh, oh okay. But me, I think, hey, basically, how you do that thing? <laughs> <laughs> you for you for push harder. You get it. Yeah. Or you for be softer. Now I there. Now I there. Now I there. You know yeah, me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hard guy, man. I like this guy already. Um, okay, 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 okay. So you you change the name because of that. You you. You added it to your name, yeah, and rather made it by now. Okay, exactly. uh, but when did music start for you? Well, um, in general, like I said, uh, I was five when I joined a school brass band. You didn't mention the age though, about five years, yeah, I was five. I was five. What was your in instrument? Uh, I started uh, with trumpet, five years, yes, and wow. then I moved from like the, the major trumpet, mm. that's the uh. Um, brass. Mm. I went from trumpet to trombone. From At which age were you blowing trombone? Oh, trombone. I was like seven. Trombone. Yeah, I was seven. And then at the same time, ah, at the trombone. <laughs> oh, why? Why I say fear? They call about trombone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but trombone. Trombone don't be for small boys. Oh, Charlie. No, 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 no. no. But why? yeah, but at the time, mm. because. I did trumpeting for two years. Oh, wow. So I was very yeah, yeah. familiar with right. the, the the whole right. thing. So I moved from trombone to uh, uh, euphonium. Mm. It's like a tuba, a mm. bass, the mm. bass, but it's like a mid one. Right. Yeah, smaller one. And then from there, I moved to the tuba, but I ran away. And then I <laughs> Why? It was, you know, that. Tuba no be. It be the tuba, and kasa, kasa, yeah, yeah. no be the kiddies, the matin. Yeah, hard. Yeah. Oh, we... We would blow one, so because it's a, a very huge, mm. you know, brass. You feel dizzy, huh? I put it down, not on my lap. Mm. I put it. Yeah, on no, the it would be on your lap. Yeah, two tubas are, and the way they are, they are exactly. Are, yeah, they're, they're shaped. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put it on the chair, and by the time we finish one song, then I don't see where the valves is. <laughs> yeah, because it, it takes a lot. Right. And then I went to drumming. Uh, then yeah, I think. Was this a school that was training kids like John Tay and Exactly. It was a it was a it was an academy. Academy, okay. Yeah, it was an academy mm. for for uh academics and music and sports. Mm. Yeah, mm. so you do you go to school close at two o'clock, then straight to rehearsals in wow. your field. If you're a footballer, you go to your football field. If you're a trumpeter, you go to your trumpeting. We have keyboardists. Is the school still there? Yeah, it still operates. Which school is that? It's Holy Star Academy. Okay. Yeah. In the Volta region? In the Volta region in Africa. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. So um from 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 there, it I didn't I don't I don't know where when it, it transitioned to, <laughs> to singing. And then I, I started to get more vocal. Then I, I was singing at church, I was singing at home, I was writing songs. I was very young at the time. But professionally, I started music somewhere in 2017. Yeah, professionally. Mm -hmm. When I kicked off my, my music career as a singer, as an artist in 2017. Mm. Yeah. Then you went to mentor. Then I went on, to on TV3. Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, I, I think when you came, I had, I had left. Mm. Because I, was the last year or two, I was a guest judge. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I, I was I was quite frequent on the program. Okay. Very interesting program. Yeah, very. Yeah. Very. And uh, and they are 
they, they've got some good talent up, up there. Exactly. Amazing. Exactly. So when I saw you, I think the first day I saw you, I, was I with, with Bulldog? I've forgotten who I was with. And I said, this is the second time I'm watching this guy. And the prospects are very high. I don't know. It just it just came to me like wow. I feel this guy's got something. Thank I you. don't know, but I feel the prospects are. I mean, the ide ide. Yeah, thank you. Thank Only you to so find much. out that what you you won. Yeah, I did win. Wow. Yeah, by the grace of God. Actually, for you to win, mentor, not be small. Though. It's not small. It's not. It's not a joke. Mentor is not a program. Uh, you start. And know you're gonna win. Mm, mm, yeah. for real, for real. It's not something you start and know you're gonna win. Mm. Winning mentor comes with a lot. It comes with <laughs> talent and grace. I know. So with with, with with this on my way song, did you record after or before the competition? It was after. After. It was after. I I released two songs so far uh, on my way, and then uh, I did like them. So both songs, in fact, all the songs I have recorded after mentor. Mm. All the songs I'll be dropping henceforth. I recorded after Mando. No, but you can sing. Hey, Thank you the sing, oh. Thank you, was. Bad. No, you the sing. You the sing. Thank you. Seriously, you know, for a minute when 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 the song started playing, I was asking myself, wait, is he the same guy or he's contracted someone to sing? And <laughs> and I mean, it, it's very normal. Yeah. We we. We've seen too many people. I mean, I've done it before. Mm. On my first album, people were singing for me. Yeah. Um, Quincy Jones. Yeah. Um, our very own um, Kojo Akwai. Yeah. When the Kojo Akwai, Kojo Akwai did an Ajifre, we all thought it was him. Only to know that he was just a producer and yeah, yeah, yeah. arranger. I don't have people to it. Yeah. A whole lot so for me, I was thinking that, ah, wait, is that him? Or not? Oh, it is me. <laughs> it is him. Yeah. Who's your inspiration? What? Who's your inspiration? Well, first of all, God. Yeah. Myself. And you are not listening to your song. Who do you listen to? I listen to every good music. Everybody who does good music, including Andy Dusty. <laughs> I like that. Big dreams, big money. If I big dreams, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> big dreams. Okay. And then you put out your first record. Now, yeah. um. What's your affiliation with with Adam? Because it was Adam after after the competition. It was Adam that sent me a link. Yeah. To check you out. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I clicked and clicked. The thing wouldn't open. Okay. And he even asked me to post it. I tried. It, it wouldn't. Put, I mean, there was nothing was coming up. Yeah. So I wanted I think, to ask I think him. At the time, the song was um, queued. It was. It was. It was. Uh, supposed to be out okay it was dated and timed okay. but it wasn't time yet okay yeah so it was like a pending leak yeah so when he sent it to me i was clicking on it, i was like adam i thought this guy his madness has gone off <laughs> but it's still there i mean yeah i mean we all know adam unless you are not very close but mm. we who are closer to him we know that the guy is not very okay there's one thing he always said. <laughs> <laughs> he always he says it. Uh, God, Godfather says um, every artist or every creative is, get, is mad. Get mental. Problems. Of course, it be true. Yeah, it be true. I mean, if if you know be if you are too correct, you can create. Problems. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah. That one day. Exactly. So what do mean he Chris? That one day he know. We all be Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so the the songs are out, eh? Yeah, two songs out. Um, an EP coming out soon. Oh, nice. Uh, my own EP mm. and then VRMG EP. So now, are you with VRMG? Have they signed you? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. wow. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. I've been with VRMG since uh, the after mentor. Okay. Yeah. So, um, the VRMG EP, they are, uh, I have one single and two collaborations okay. with uh, Godfather and some other artists. Mm. And then Godfather to has some song, I think a single on it. It's mm. four uh, four song piece. I so it. I am very sure. Yeah. That Adam didn't sign you because you are from Volta. No. I'm sure he signed you because of something you have or something he had seen with you. 
I would like to believe so. No, I'm telling you because I know I know how he spots talents. That boy, I mean, all jokes aside, I mean, I mean we all know them. Yeah. Spot on, right? Check this out. Don't, don't let go. Don't let go. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We've seen talents. Amradu told me something a few days ago. And that thing, I've plucked it somewhere in my mind. He said, if someone who has his own business going mm. has family to take care of, yet, despite all the bills he's paying, he's decided to invest in a certain talent. Sometimes we'll even relegate his his business or his his art yeah. to the back and push you mm -hmm. so that you can become in quotes somebody. Yeah. Don't joke with that person. Definitely. Because he's got time, he's got a lot of things to do too. Yeah. Yet he had to let them go and take care of you. But what do we see? You spend time, you invest your energy, your money, your wisdom your blood and sweat and tears all in raising someone up and then you get disappointed along the line. Yeah. Please, be a shining example so that just as Hammer picked him up mm -hmm. and he's picked you up, you will also pick someone up or some people up so that there will be some sort of lineage or very good legacy, something that we can brag about. Okay. I hope my advice is well taken. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, let me read some comments. There are a lot of comments for you, man. A lot of comments. Right. Raptown says it's not easy. Uh, Donna Swart says, Volta in the building. We're waiting for the handles. People want to know your handles. Oh, all right. Yeah. Young homie Uhuru Skido says, Raptown is super proud of you. Bino FYD. Donna Swart said, my, Sorry. Thank you. Bino yeah. fight. Bino fight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Donald Swart says, my sister, don't, my sister don't know you. I want to show her your videos you've been doing in the coconut trees. In the coconut trees? Which is the person who knows you by... Oh, wow. <laughs> Which one is that? I, I, I don't know. It, it's, I think it's a long time. Way, 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 way back. Yeah. Eh? Which means he's been following you for a very long hey, bless time. bless her. Who's that? Uh, his name is Donald Swart. Donald. Bless yeah. her. Bless her. Beat 9 says, this guy is hilarious. Uh, Clement Manfo said the kid gets sense and pa <laughs> he gets sense party <passive> mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Opoku Mano said the guy get nice vibes. Uh the Mano consult said Nana Dubuafu Jr. is watching this. Oh, the great Nana Dubuafu Jr. That's my cousin right there. Nana Piao, Nana Unkwaso. Unkwaso. Honey boy said, My brother, keep going higher. You have so much to give. Bless it. Bless Pedro it. Maldina Cruz says, Watching in Kumasi, Tanosu Kesman Junction, the main location. Keep up the good work. Mm. Nana Kusiwa says, He speaks so well. I like him. Thank you. These ladies. Nana Kusiwa. <laughs> nice name, though. <laughs> nice name. Nice name. And where are you at? Thank you. I don't know. Which one is you don't know? Uh, because sometimes, you know, it be normal. What does your girlfriend say? Who? You heard me right. <laughs> I got plenty of girlfriends. Yeah. I got plenty. Everybody say you they lie. Ah, who say I they lie? Oh, Nana already did it. Nana. Ah, Nana. Are you Nana, right? come, come, come. Nana, come. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Now, uh, hey! Oh, which guy? Kind of this I beg. It? Oh, why no? No, no, sit, sit, sit. You see this guy right here? He's he's your manager, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Do you know he manages me as well? Oh wow. Yes. He's, okay. He's he's my business manager. So if you have any business with me, if any bill comes up, it's coming from him. Listeners, <laughs> yeah, you know well. you know where you know where my bills come from. <laughs> no. This guy. <laughs> Nana, good morning and welcome. Thank you, Andy. Nana. Yes, sir. What's what's his girlfriend's name? Uh, hey, Nana, hey, 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 what's his girlfriend? Uh, why, why? I, that's no, your manager. I just I love your manager. What you talk to no, no, please. So, I, mean, I think that Bino has a lot of um, female female friends. Nana ya radio. Nana ya wait. A lot of Nana ya. Nana ya wait. So, I'm thinking of which Nana ya. Oh. 
<laughs> no, no. Andy. I'm watching on Facebook and, and the way the picture looks, I mean, it's funny. The way that team did. It's like a bunch of liars and one honest guy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like two liars and one honest, innocent gentleman at the other side. Nana, what's his girlfriend's name? Simple question. Oh, f a lot of female friends. Female friends. Simple question. We want to make no, no, no. We get AC, we get AMA, we get... Yeah, no, so no, many. the ones we get. The ones you, you, the one, that one, you get. One. That one person. If I talk one, the rest go vex. The, um, what's her name? The, the lady who just commented. The one where she says... My she friend, get like, out. <laughs> <laughs> But I know you know be correct guy like that. Oh. <laughs> uh, her name is Nana Kusiwa. Nana Kusiwa. She got Perry says, and this guy is a viper, bro. Keep pushing one day, one day. Ebefa. Thank you. Oglotri said this guy be hard guy, pa. Uh Yevuga Yev Yevuga Angelo says, watching live from Afife Afife. Afife. So, Afife's Sovi. Yeah. Bota region. Bless her, bless her, bro. The voices of voters are flower all the way. Mm -hmm. Let's keep supporting him. Donald Swan said, Brandy, start interviewing voter artists. You'll be shocked. Oh, but I've interviewed a lot of voter artists. Ah, they come here all the time. Oh, they come, uh, voter. I mean, the, oh. The last time I went to a program in the voter region, I think it was the VGMAs. Was it last year? We were at the nominees jam, the voter region, and there was this um, seminar we did, I exchanged my contacts with almost every artist that came. They've been calling and sending me their songs. If you hear me blazing them, you know, right now, I do Okay. Okay. Christiana Megas, eh, I beg. Um, GH Hero says, watching live from Cote d'Ivoire, Bino, Bino. Oh, wow. He says, watching from La Cote d'Ivoire. Bless her, bless her. Nice. Eh, um, mon frère. Mm. Merci, merci, yeah. merci. <laughs> Senior man says I like him, but I don't know why TV really doesn't promote him. They play his music only. They play only DSL. Why? Okay. Um, Adam is watching you. He says to tell the truth. Uh -huh. Ah, tell me. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, don't use ever to tell him that you are you share that the life for here. I'm not the see again. Me, if you speak Ebe, are they here? The only thing you say, I don't go feel respond. <laughs> if you be man, say anything, make I explain to you right now. If you insult me too, fine. Yeah, who you? And you're here, Martin. Forgot Nukunu says, watching from Legon. Greetings for greetings to Bino. Wishing him well. Thank you. Thank Memuna you. to Abubakar said, watching live from Madina. Mac Is it not the same Memuna to yesterday who, who said she was bringing us KK? Huh. Memuna to. Okay, some bouncer, some some bouncer G says, "Ouch, I'm late. Superstar in the making." Adam Spiking, I said, "Beat nine, we're here." Adam, uh -huh. go get him. He says, "Proud of you, Bino Ayoni. May God elevate you and use you to inspire the next generation." Amen. Thank My you. My friend, come and we go to for you. There, there, they send message. You <laughs> come to come. See what? Clemency Asantua says, "Humble guy." Adam Sparking myself, Bino Ayoni. Uh, John Evans says, go higher, man. Adam, Bless okay. Him. Bless him. Uh, Beats Nyame says, you get plenty girlfriends. I'm pa. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we know they lie. Isaac Dogba says, Volta guys always speak well and respectful. Uh, Sina Bashiru says, beat nine. Ghana's yellow man. Bless him. I like that. Bless him. Obabna says, good morning, Andy Dusty. I'm enjoying your show from Romantic Aisha. Aha! Uh -huh. Romantic Aisha King Kira. That we have. I feel no one in the Romantic Aisha. Yesterday we waited for the king. He didn't appear. Martinez will soon come, so bring it. Uh, Adam says Nanea is looking fresh like a brie palm oil. Oh, you know He says more fire and the, the voice of voice. I said we don't give up on here. Nate brains, which I said, Brandy, please ask him what was his biggest fear coming to mentor and how did he overcome all the critics? Wow, that's a big question. My biggest fear. Mm. I, my biggest fear was not making it to the show at all. From the auditions, eh? Yeah, that was my biggest fear. And when I made it through, I knew God had a plan for me, so I just went along with it. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice. The oh. the 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 hardest part of everything is the is is starting it. Mm. Once you start it, everything that has a start has an end. Mm. So you just start it, do what you can, and leave the rest in the hands of God. Mm. Yeah. Nice. We are about to listen to your your new song, Adi Like Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Osika Branton said, Good morning, Andy. I'm listening to you live from a shaman opposite Total Feeling Station. This guy, because he go be humanize our ah, he can woman. I, I can see in his eyes, oh, Andy. No, nah, hey, I'm not sure. Say you see him well. <laughs> <laughs> King Monkey feels like this guy is hard. I swear, VRMG will push you up. Thank Adam Spark is one love by now. Blessed, uh, blessed, bro. Shillington Willie, Willie Do says, live from the UK. Much love, brother. Uh, Ni Aikuma Ite said, Bino speaks well. He just won a new fan. Thank you. Uh, young is this a top, top guy in Shira. Stanford says, he's very cool and gentle. Thank Kofi you. Harrington said, may God give you the grace to come out big. Blessed, bro. Uh, Ni Aklama One says, he's watching from Pram Pram. Big ups, Bino. Big ups. Nana Kofi Mesa said, buy not to the world. Andy, when are you coming to Pristia? Plenty talent they here. Okay, okay. Nana Kojua Kufu says, we'll be expecting reggae music from you. Oh, yeah, of course. Kutana, reggae music, dancehall music. Yeah, man. Yeah. Kutana Nazarite with Swamo said, big ups to buy not. This daughter fresh from Navrongo. Tell him that I love him and his vibe. Bless up, bless up. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. And I love you too. Everybody from the north, big up yourself. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, sure? Andy, yes. let, me, let me see this. So, uh, I don't know, but I'm waiting for the day I would go to the northern region. Okay. You have love there? When I was in the mental house, a flower side, the support I had from northern region made me feel a northerner. Wow. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. 60% of the comments were from the north, right? Were from the north. Wow. Where people didn't speak my language. Why were you singing in in ever? No. I was speaking in. I was singing in um, English. English and, most okay. of the time. Most right. of the time. But you know, it was very evident that I represented bit nine. Right. I represented number nine. But my northerners didn't. They it showed you massive love. Eh? It was like I was one of them. Okay. There got a time when some few of them reached out to me and they were like we want to bring you to the northern region i'm like eh? wow so big up yourself if you're from the north navrongo right. um e- e- every part of the north you know mm. bless up bless up i bless. really really appreciate it. right yeah inshaba could just said donyo says brian bino my superstar aka brock lesnar ah <laughs> hey people know you by <laughs> which one is brock lesnar uh, well, Brock Lesnar is a wrestler. No, I know, but wh- wh- why? Why you? Well, they say I reckon. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. But, yeah. Asibe Maxwell says, I've loved this guy since day one when I first listened to his music. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ajololo Eduji Engelbert says, Bye, no, we day your back. Bless you. Our Yosofu says, Proud of you, King. Uh, Adam Sparkins must say, Flower Boy, know the shake. Now. Kwashi has also said, I watch from Madina Zongo Junction by no fight. Bless up, bless Thomas up. Thomas K. Jelu says, Big ups, blessed up. Uh, by no Ioni, the beat is the best is yet to come up town to the world. Bless up, bless up. Spencer said, This is Aflao. I'm proud of you, my guy. Um, Nate Brains Richard said, Did he encounter any critics from people per his outlook? I think we've discussed that already. Yeah. Emilia Fitty says, Shout out from the hood, beats Nye. Beats in here. Go higher, brother man. Aye. Nice. Bless her. Bless right. her. Thank you so much. A uh, lot of comments. In Shia's time for says, Andy, please pray for him today. <laughs> Andy, pray for him too. Uh, <laughs> I'll pray for him. Don't worry. Joe Fuse said, Brandy, please ask him what happened between him and African Multimedia, his former management. Oh. He yeah. had issues with him? Uh, yeah, they had issues with me. Why? I like to say it like that. Um, so here's the thing. I stopped working with them uh, somewhere about a year before Mentor, right? And then within that time, nobody reached out to me. Nobody texted me. Nobody, you know, 
it was only one guy big respect to you fika um i was i was texting him more times mm. even on my own when i when i like i was doing stuff on my own i would text it to him and then he would respond to me and then when i entered into the mental house everything changed mm. it was like um they started bullying me on facebook really yeah they started bullying me uh, you mean facebook. your your team yeah. your then team or people yes Any? no then team and then they would get someone I, i'm in the middle of the competition they will get someone when i perform the person will come and write really derogatory things about me in the comment section wow right when i saw it because i've been working with them for a time i i talk to them so i know how they construct their sentences mm, mm, mm. and then i noticed it was one of them who was doing it mm. who is actually the forerunner of the africans multimedia right. company so i reached out to freka and i was like bro look at what they are doing i'm in the middle of a competition he said he spoke with the guy and then uh, he said he wasn't the one but immediately i spoke to freka them comments stopped Start, okay what does he say mm. right so after that they started um bullying me via whatsapp hey they won't go public but this one directed at you exactly they, they started bullying me via whatsapp he would text me uh, I, 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 do, i have my your your, uh, uh, your at the time i was working with 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 them uh, there was a mini keyboard it was a very small keyboard mm. that was in the house that you know children used to play mm. and i am an artist right i'm a creative i need some of these things to help me mm. out so i was like okay can you give it to me so that i will be using it instead because as it here yeah, is mm. you know, nobody's using it and so um the keyboard was with me and then i was in a mental house i was in a car and he texted me and he was like okay first of all give me the keyboard bring the keyboard to me and i was like okay no problems i s- texted home and made my people send the keyboard to his house they took the keyboard to his house he told them i was the one who came for the keyboard so, so they should you should return it, it and bring it myself really bro yeah. and then they they bullied me to a point where i almost withdrew from the competition wow if not because of them and then they would never post um, like you know no no sign of support at the time bit9 was like fronting my support and you know f- um whoa, 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 everything whoa, whoa, what is this bit9 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 is a hood is my hood where i come okay, from okay okay exactly so we have a hood group okay. on facebook right. and instagram everywhere so when bit9 posts in support of me they will come attack bit9 hey it was a heavy social media war going on at the time when i was still in the middle of the competition you may be derailed right and i almost withdrew from the competition and um, godfather adam said no you've gone too far you can't leave the competition i was like okay cool so i uh with their attacks and bullying and everything i left i like i continued with the competition at that point i had to go like forgo my phone so that i can focus on what i'm doing and i don't respond to his text anymore i don't you know talk to him and anything anymore and i am very reserved even while the social media wars were going on i would never post one thing to insult them back to respond to them or whatever mm-hmm. i would never do that they kept they kept it going until a point where they they felt that okay now he's gone far in the competition there's nothing we can do anymore because if he was also not buying anything they were, um the producers of the show will see the thing they will come to me and ah, what is wrong with your people from aflao and mm-hmm. i'm like oh yeah you know it, it is what it is so they they understood the whole thing and then i finished with the competition right when i was done with the competition my first interview 
I gave shout outs to people who supported me in the program and left them out. And they went berserk as to hey. why I didn't acknowledge them for playing a part in my my your growth. My growth. When you were constantly attacking me on social media, you expect me to give you a shout out. <laughs> and then the the attacks oh they flowed. They they went even as we're talking, if you go to their pages, you'll find out more derogatory get with, uh, get, get with things about me. Well, I, I've never responded to any you, one of you, them. You anyways. Need to. So, you um, need to. from there, one guy, his name is Selom Amaza. He's from Akachi. <laughs> this guy is one of the people who reached out to me to ask me what was happening between Africa. Actually, there was a reason for our breakout. It didn't just happen overnight, right? And it's something I don't want to say here mm -mm. because it's also not good for their business. Um. So he reached out to me. I made a post on social media and I was like, uh, um, so I've stopped working with African Multimedia. We could have settled things more amicably, but because they threatened me, there's no chance. I'm not... Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. So I'm no more working with African Multimedia, right? Salom Amaza came and asked me, and let me read what he texted. Listeners, in case you're just tuned in, you're listening to Hits 103.9 FM. Bino is my special guest. Josh Quay just sent in a comment. He says, Albinism is caused by a genetic mutation that results in a lack of melanin production in the skin, hair, and eyes. This mutation can be inherited from one or both parents who carry the gene for albinism. The specific gene that is affected can vary, leading to different types of albinism with varying degrees of severity. He's done great by accepting who he is and leveraging it to reach higher heights. A wise man once said, own who or what you are. Embrace it, wear it like an armor, and it can never be used against you. Tell him you and me are also short and proud. Uh, George Quay. Okay. Yeah, he's lucky. Like, are they... <laughs> like I become gift to him. Anyway. Right. Bye now. So this is what Salam texted me. We, we have just about five minutes to wrap up. All right. So, so he said, you know, if I would advise you and not get into trouble, eh, don't do no record label deals again. La. I believe in you than any acting voter and you've got to blow soon. La. So I would support you till the end. Send me your personal number. Let's vibe. God got us. I sent him my personal number. When all these things were happening, having my personal number, he could have called me to say, oh, bro, what is going on? Like, blah, blah, blah. Dude didn't call me. He was forerunning, running me down on Facebook. Writing a lot. His page has 21,000 followers plus. He would write insultive things. He would write character assassinating things about me on his page right and then because i don't respond it continued until he brought it under my own page and i sent him a screenshot of what he told me earlier and he never came back um one thing i'll say to the facebook people who are talking is i'm an artist i'm a musician i would do what is good for my business so let them keep doing what they're doing i'm fine mm. yeah i'm good all right quite a lengthy explanation yeah let's listen to adelaika oh. then uh my elders will come in to share their thoughts on the song folks
Nice song. Chale, your talent, the something else, man. We are good morning. Good morning, Andy. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Good, 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 good. Bye now. Okay, um, my time I, is up. I, I, I walked into the studio when you, you were practically ending, so I, I don't have much to say about whatever you guys discussed first, but I just want to say the song is good. Thank you. It's very good. I mean, you have talent, and um, I hope it doesn't get to your head, though. Yeah. But you have talent, and I can't wait to see what you do with it. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Rob, morning. Morning, Andy. How are you? I'm well. Good. Bino is in your, and Ellie said in your balls, in your court. <laughs> no, the ball is in your, or the court is in your balls. Sorry, the ball is in your court. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> See, you can make mistakes. Continue, continue, continue. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yo, your Bino, Bino is talented, and um, thank you. I think. That the day he was actually picked into the mentor program, I was there. Okay. With him and Giovanni, we were on uh, Giovanni's show. Yeah. And it was a live session that we held, and then eventually, um, yeah, he was selected in to, in to be in part of the program. And it was, and that day I had, I had a story. I saw a number, a number of things he had done, and I'm like, man, this guy is like talented. And when we say talented, not like you have an. You have a skill and is 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 hidden, but he was putting in the work, and so from that particular day, I realized that no, um, there was something positive about him. Little wonder every week he just basically took the experience on the platform to a different level. Thank you. And now we can see clearly. I think one of the performances I watched that a lot of people commented about was when he did a song by Lucky Dubé. And um, mm. it, it was it was so touching, you know, because he personalized the lyrics, mm. and that made us actually connect and feel exactly what he was feeling. It was absolutely fantastic, and so um, first of all, congratulations, congratulations to him. Thank you. And um, I love the positive attitude that he has. And this, you no, know, why do you call yourself the negative that eh? people we will stigmatize would, you? Exactly. Eh? So he's now turned that thing into a name and made it positive. So whatever whatever you can use to bring him down it's already you know worked on himself so you can't bring him down but who advised that guy it was godfather adam i won't lie the bino yes okay <laughs> <laughs> and then you see that, that his mindset about about him um being an albino mm-hmm. the fact that you know everybody doesn't have it and he has it and so because of that he's special you know not not the other way around so he is not the normal and he is special and he actually sees that being special has some weight. You know, it means that he's unique and he's actually capitalizing on that. So I think that mindset is, is golden and um, it's something that everybody needs to be able to learn from, you know. And um, he's, a, he's a person that when you listen to his song, you would love the song. But when you, when you hear him speak, you would fall in love with his brand. You know, so it's not just the music. You actually fall in love with the brand as well. Thank you. And um, I think that he's, he's gone through a lot. And I know for a musician, somebody who writes, the experiences you go through becomes your raw material to each song that you write. So basically, whatever life throws at you or have life has thrown at you is, um, is good raw material for writing songs with different themes. Because you've been through it and you can feel it and you can translate that emotion into the music and therefore share that with people. And I think that you should be able to capitalize on everything because I think really from the perspective of God, there's no good or bad. There's only what you do with what you have. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Wisdom. I, I never knew you were... Okay. <laughs> no, you are wise. I know. That one I... But in the mornings, I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> in the mornings, they don't come it's like the that. Killmonger. Yeah, 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 the Killmonger. It doesn't come like that. <laughs> come on. I'm just expecting. Hey. I think that his handlers are doing extremely well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we just need to be able to support and throw in all the support right. possible so that he can go to the next level. I mean, for me, I, I think I, I like on my way. Thank you. I like on my way better. Yes, Kwame. Ani Nasty. Bino. Bino, I like him. Thank you. I watched him when he was on Mentor, and the moment I, I saw his performances, I knew this guy knows music, 
and uh, I had that feeling that he he was going to make Ghana proud with his music. So thank you. Me ni she ka and one here, and one all right, bye now, daddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for coming. Yes, I, I really thank enjoyed you. this interview. Oh, you know, he's a teacher, yeah. He didn't mention that. <laughs> you teach, yeah. So, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's uh, yeah, yeah. Like, he's what, what do you teach? He's, he's complete, be, be happy. Wow, except Pro- mathematics, professional teacher, yeah, yeah, yeah. like in a school. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, I used to you, you know we, we, yeah. we, we had an we had a teacher like that, but he he was a music teacher. Yeah, I, I, I do teach music too. And and wow. and he yo, know, he was albino. And oh. this man <laughs> will betide you <laughs> if you get one note wrongly. Mm. <laughs> huh. And let me just say this. Well, did I say anything wrong? Please, someone is calling me. I beg you. <laughs> Your teacher is calling you? <clears throat> no. I answer for you. Like you answered for my mother the, the last time. Should I answer for you? I wish, but I'm scared. <laughs> she go do you something, you know. But you know, you, you saw the name. Yes, please. <laughs> I just wanted to say something quickly. You speak, you speak French as well, secretary. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Please. So please don't forget to, yeah. you know, Cap, you know, capture that particular market as well. Right. Yeah, f- the francophones. I mean, and then the airway into okay. into Togo, into Benin, mm-hmm. the Fong, where they understand all of that. You know, yeah. so you just go into that particular stretch. Right. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Don't just focus on Ghana. Yeah. Stretch. That's at least <laughs> by language. That's an advantage. Yeah. And obviously by English, you get what twenty four countries from Africa, and then you get into the francophone area. 29 yeah. speaking South countries you know you can conquer West Africa West thank you yeah you know, language advantage so please take advantage of mm. that thank you so I, I'm, I'm inviting you eh? yeah May 18th I'm, 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 I'm having a concert at Soho okay we should pass by just come through that's my birthday that's your birthday huh? yeah. oh. hi come let's so pop, champ- I'll, I'll let's pop champagne when, when is that May, May, 18. May 18 on Saturday this oh. Saturday's week yeah yeah I'm having a live concert uh, with Kwabna Kwabna, Chiamme Kwame, Sister Fia and Amrado. Oh. I've seen the artwork. So. Oh, you've seen the artwork? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. I'll even sing. You you tried where you know succeed. It's a former musician. People don't know that side of me. Yeah, but so you keep but you keep projecting it. Okay. You are giving us a grounds to talk that, about. That it. is a typical example <laughs> of a, a hidden talent. <laughs> no, so he, if you are describing me, <laughs> say and uh, oh, Bino was there, Andy Dusty was there and Former musician and hidden talented. <laughs> no, Kwame it's not, it's not hidden. He tried with him. I'm fast. Thank you very much for coming, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.